In this tutorial, we will have a look at the Inventor interface. So let's start the Autodesk Inventor. And here we see the first window which pops up. It contains many helpful topics. Close this window and show you the Inventor interface. And here, as we see the Inventor interface, in new open projects, open samples, and here are the small icons, a new open and save, and here is the tools online. And now let's start a new part, and there is two ways to start a new part in Inventor. We have this new, and here the small icon new so here it is a quick choose you can choose between a simply drawing and part comparing that to solidworks new we have part simply drawing and here we can choose part here we have the new part and if we try the other method by choosing will be choosing new and here you have the option to choose with more specific and you can choose so I'm going to choose the metric and here we can choose standard with the units millimeters so now we have the units will be used in here will be in millimeters but in case you want to change the units for example if you the new part from here and we want to change the units you can simply go to tools document setting units and change to the desired units so i'm going to choose millimeter second angle will be in degrees and the mouse will be in ground and then apply close so with part from here and if we have to look at the interface we can see here it is divided in section 3d model inspect tool manage view environment get started so I'm going to show you how to use icons in the next tutorials and if we look at the button here we see this new is the number of open part if we close one so you'll see there's one part is open and for more help there is if one button you can press to get more help in using the inventor and here we have the browser window comparing it to the SOLIDWORKS if you are familiar with the SOLIDWORKS it is in this place in SOLIDWORKS so in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to start a sketch in Inventor